Try to have his Wayne Goodzell. As I finish the videos and uh, I had signed out, up popped a Mormon Stories podcast, and I was going to skip it, except that I was curious as to who the woman was. I was curious if this is the wife, the poor victimed wife of John DeLynn. And no, she's not. Uh, but uh, I saw the title of the video, and I was like, seriously, who's Jacob Ness, and why are you making him a big celebrity star? <laughs> because uh, he did a two-part uh, response to Jacob Hess who uh, dissed on John DeLynn. And so, technically, it sounds like Jacob's the good guy. <laughs> and I'm going to get into that. Uh, but, uh, uh, biggest church lie. And I'm like, who cares? John is nobody to talk about anything church-related. He wants to go back to church. So screw him. And if you missed that, you know, Dan Evans, the three questions, um, John DeLynn was on that. Uh, yeah, I, I consider going back. <laughs> uh, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> Screw you. Stay away. Just stay away from foxes, and wolves, and lions, and tigers, and bears, in little sheep's clothing. And so I decided, okay, obviously Jacob Hess must be somebody big and important. So I Google searched him. He's got his own stuff online. Isn't that great? Nice to be rich in a pseudoscience field. Guess where he got his education from in that pseudoscience field? If you're unfamiliar with what pseudo is, it's a technical term for fake. He's a fellow psychologist with John DeLynn. <laughs> and here we get to talk about it. <clears throat> and so, yes, as I then watched, I only got 3 minutes and 15 seconds into the video. As uh, it was very clear, they only want you for your money. Kara comes right out and says it, don't send us emails, send us cash. We want money. Money, money, money. That's all they want. That's all they care about. That's all they're concerned about. They don't love you. They want money. John DeLynn is sort of hurting for a job and needs money. And she works for him. So that explains why she's a kiss-up and advertising to send them money. That's your first red flag. When you have a psychologist who's an ex-Mormon and he's asking for money. YouTube is free. You don't need money. Yes, you get poorer quality. <laughs> I have the air conditioning in the background with a fan to utilize the air conditioning just spread it around the house rather than just die at the window <clears throat> yeah it, it, it's kind of uh, a major uh oh red alert red alert warning danger will robinson because he's talking about religious subjects about the church and so What's the definition of priestcraft? Uh huh. He's using a fake science, psychology, to do 
religious video topics and he's asking for money to support him on a website that allows you to upload for free and my god is she a kiss up I, I thought they were going to jump each other right there and we're going to have to edit it out or put censored over it my hell she's even flashing her ring or her ring while she's kissing up to him dear god Mormons have not gotten away from adultery, have they, when they leave the church? If you're unfamiliar with Mormonism, they have a long history of adultery. Since Brigham Young, performing it in secret behind Joseph's back, along with Heber and the Danites. And uh, John C. Bennett, look what happened to him after the Danites rejected him when Joseph Smith excommunicated him for adultery. He joined the Illuminati. Isn't that great? what Brigham and the Danites were, were the Illuminati, because John C. Bennett formed his own, because they didn't want him. <laughs> John was their stash for the drugs to cause abortions. I think he would be kind of essential. He can sign all the pharmaceutical prescriptions. Oh, I guess they didn't do that back then. And John isn't licensed for that, though. Thank God. Can you imagine if John DeLynn was writing out prescriptions for psychotropic drugs to Mormons who leave the church? Oh, you're going through a faith crisis? Here's some drugs. And this is the danger of the fake science of psychology. This is how it works. In real science, you have categorizations of objects. They're visible, they're tangible, you can see them, you can feel them, etc. Five senses. And so they classify them. The manner in which they classify them helps us understand whether they're maybe fruits or vegetables or canines or felines just some typical examples psychology and pay attention Stanley Smith Stevens he's long dead now but during the World War two thing you know fighting the Nazis fighting Japan Pearl Harbor and during that time period he decided, hey, as a fake psychologist, a fake scientist, why don't I fool people and take this scientific categorization process and put it into psychology? Yeah. Non-dichotomy and dichotomy categorizations is what it's technically called. He's Mormon. Uh, from Ogden, I believe. He did his career in Colorado, though. Moved out of Utah. And uh, the way it works is that they sit you on a couch, stereotypical, and you're there because you have a problem, a behavioral problem, an emotional problem. And so they want you to talk about it. They want you to cry. They want you to get angry. They want you to get emotional. They want to break you. people break horses, break them in, so that the horse is submissive and responsive. Yeah, psychology. They break people, make them dependent upon the psychologist. 
and there are therapists and caseworkers and other such that are involved in the field. The psychiatrists are the ones who give out the drugs. And this re-traumatization that they do to break people to make them dependent upon the doctor for salvation is a re-victimization because what happens when you hear on the news about a school shooting Reporters always say school psychologists or therapists or whatever are counseling the children. Dear God, they've allowed them to be in control of children with this fake science that re-traumatizes people because there's no such thing as a mental illness it doesn't exist there's behavioral problems there are certain people that have attitudes but that's not a mental illness remember in the Book of Mormon Abinadi they call him mad and it's not angry that's crazy that's what you do when you don't like what somebody says. You call them a terrorist and call them crazy. And there are other words for it. Psychology used to use the word retarded. Oh, uh, he's retarded. But then it became the slang bully joke word. You're retarded. No, you're retarded. And so you don't hear them talk about it that way. Unless it's among themselves as they're speaking their own language to each other because each career field has their own lingo you know those words that make them sound like they know what they're talking about and you don't and you have to trust them and give them money yeah no all psychologists are are bullies and Stanley Smith, Stiv, Stanley Smith Stevens, say that five times fast, created a categorization system to bully people with. It's name calling. Oh, you're mentally ill. You're mentally ill. You're this kind of mental illness you're this kind of mental illness or behavioral illness they don't want to say mental anymore they're now going into behavioral it's now behavioral science everybody should have red flags all over the place these guys are pure evil you've heard about brainwashing you've heard about the days when you'd go to a show in Vegas and watch a hypnotist, make the person uh, out of the audience cluck like a chicken. Yeah, well, this is more devious. A lot more devious. Because if you've seen the movie Bad Boys 2, and you can't be Mormon, it's rated R. <laughs> Martin Lawrence, all right. Yeah, Martin Lawrence? Yeah. Bill Smith, Martin Lawrence. Yeah. I watched Central Intelligence, and so this new guy is messing up my thinking process on who's who. <coughs> and uh, Martin Lawrence, and well, everybody in the department, has to go see a therapist. <laughs> if there's one way to destroy a police department, it's to send in the th therapist. Just watch Lethal Weapon. Mel Gibson knows how to put a therapist in her place. Until the Fox came out with the TV series. God. Unbelievable. She's not the good guy. She's the bad guy. 
anyway, it only lasted two seasons because the uh, guy was mean and abusive to the uh, was it Damon Wayans? Is that the guy? Or was it one of the billions of brothers? But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it's bullying. The therapist for Martin Lawrence keeps repeating over and over again, you're angry. You're angry. Yes, you are. You're angry. And he keeps re rejecting her. Rightly so. He's not angry. He doesn't need the therapist. He just needs to get away from Will Smith as his partner. <laughs> Bad boys for life. Until someone shoots you in the ass. KKK rally. <laughs> that's hilarious. And so uh, that's their tactic. Is they use brainwashing techniques. Repeating over and over and over and over that you have a problem and your denial is proof that you have a problem. <laughs> That's a fallacy argument, Kara. <laughs> I only watched three minutes and 15 seconds, but I heard way too much. <laughs> and so, yes, as a non-science, claiming to be science because of Stanley Smith Stevens, Mormon, They don't use sound argument. Real science use sound argument. When you go to a medical doctor, you've got a pain in your heart. You go to the doctor. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Can't remember the rest of the line. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I've got a bad case of loving you. Oh. There we go. I forgot the opening and closing hymn, didn't I? Doctor, doctor. Give me the news. The news. And then there's an actual doctor, doctor. Can't you see I'm burning, burning? That's an old 80s song. You younger generation may not remember it. I think they may have even been a one-hit wonder. We'll have to find out when I search on YouTube for them. <clears throat> so you go to the medical doctor. What does he do? Does he sit you on a couch and tell you how you're feeling? It hurts, doctor. It hurts. The pain. No, he's not going to traumatize you. He's going to get to the cause of the problem. So if it's in your heart, he needs to run some blood tests. He needs to do an x-ray or a CAT scan. Or not, well, a CAT scan is for brain. Isn't it? But he needs to do all sorts of tests to look inside our body, whether it's in our blood or directly at our heart. He's not going to sit you down on the couch and ask you for your feelings, traumatizing you all over again, bringing up the pain, headed for a heartache. There's another song I could have done for an intermediate hymn. Headed for a heartbreak. There's another one, too. Lots of them for this one. We'll do an intermediate. Headed for a heartbreak. And so when the doctor finally gives you a prescription for drugs, hopefully, because I've had a few instances where I'm like, why are you giving me a prescription? I don't need the prescription. You said it's going to go away. <laughs> why do I want to help the pharmaceutical companies for a non-essential 
medication. But uh, hopefully, you know, they're going to provide you with something that will actually heal you. Psychologists, they don't bother to look for a cause. They perpetuate the problem by re-victimizing you, forcing you to pay them. <clears throat> and then have no plans for curing you or healing you. They want you for life. They need the source of income so that they can live their lives in such a manner that they are accustomed to living, which is a rich, lavish lifestyle, because they charge a ton. If you don't have insurance, which you're already paying tons on that, you end up having to pay tons for them. Sort of like an ambulance here in Utah. It's not covered by your insurance. You still have to pay $1,000 for just a single trip. Sometimes, I think it was actually 3000 John Oliver covered that. Exposed Utah on that one. And, uh, it, it, it's, it's disturbing beyond compare. As, uh, you hear from Korahor in the Book of Mormon on how, you know, he thinks things should be and how he should live a lifestyle. So he wants everybody to approve of it and then pay him so that he can justify it. Speaking of traumatization with mental and behavioral sciences, <laughs> it is awesome. And because the Church of Prophets said don't watch it, I'm watching it. I've already seen it. I uh, saw it way back when, when it was on DVD at the video store. Uh, it's Hollywood Video, where I was renting it to watch it. And then I uh, saw it again on HBO uh, a couple years or so ago. But I uh, need to have it in the collection. So, there you have it. But, uh, uh, yeah, polygamy is another such thing that you don't send them to therapy you lock up the bishops who married the teenage girls why didn't you ring? and uh that's that's pretty much it. John DeLynn is having a spat with a former psychologist, and I don't care what it's about <laughs> because they're both wrong. I think what it has to do with is that John DeLynn threw out his credentials. He's done papers on homosexuality and Mormonism. Whereas the Jacob Hess guy, he's like anti-homo. Uses the word homo in his technical field. <laughs> Name calling. That's what it is. <clears throat> they literally, psychologists during the 80s, literally believed and helped the church do the conversion therapy. Which, to give you a perfect illustration of how that works, and how well it works. I referred to you to the first girl I dated's favorite movie, Clockwork Orange. Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> Again, it's R-rated. <laughs> yes, that was her favorite movie. And so, I rented it as a kid to find out. I wanted to get to know her, so I wanted to get to know her through her favorite things. And I saw that and I went, 
I really like this movie, but I'm disturbed and confused. Should I continue to date her? <laughs> or should I run for the hills? <laughs> oh, she was a sweet girl. She worked at the bookstore. <sighs> Took her to the prom. Not Mormon. All the Mormon girls were already taken long before I even realized that they had a prom coming up and I better go because that's the thing to do to show you're not gay. A lot of peer pressure back in the 80s. <clears throat> Thanks to the church. My parents thought I was gay. And why? Well, my uncle, my dad's brother, decided to abandon his wife, she's Barbie doll, I think Barbie doll, and his three Barbie doll girls. Now, I don't want the responsibility of being a husband and a father anymore in the Mormon church. I want to be gay. Yeah, he chose to be gay. He tried to claim that he was born that way. Uh, I liked working with grandma, our mother, my grandmother, his mother, in the kitchen at home, cooking and cleaning. I didn't like working on the farm with brother and dad. <sighs> so yes, all through the 80s. Oh, if you listen to music, you're gay. If you dress with those clothes, you're gay. If you have those colors on, you're gay. Everything was gay. No. No, no, no. Again, let's go over it. I can't just explain sex, but instead we'll do non-sex. Asexual. What is asexual? Reproduction. Yeah. Sex can only occur when seed implants into egg. Like the vegetation theory. That's the only way to have sex. Any other way is not sex. So if you're not having sex, if you're a man having it's referred to in a different word. There are many slang words for it. Slang terms for it. <laughs> and you should know them. If you don't know them, good for you. You're pure and innocent. But I doubt there's any out there. <laughs> I was the last one. And I was tainted. Tainted love. <laughs> and if you're thinking, oh... That's that uh, Marilyn Manson guy's tainted love. No, no, no. He steals his songs. He can't write his own, apparently. So, yeah. Original from the 80s. I'm sure it was stolen from somebody in the 20s or the 60s or 50s or wherever. But, uh, more Williams. YouTube movies, free with ads, action and adventure. Yeah, so that's that's why I warn you against John DeLynn. He grooms. He knows how to groom. He's educated, trained, and experienced on grooming. All he does is victimize ex-Mormons re-traumatizes them. You've seen their videos where they talk about how they were abused by the church having talked to John DeLynn or doing a podcast with him. He does his therapy on his podcast for all of you to see how evil he is. 
And yes, apparently there's some indicators that the original worker complained of sexual harassment. So why is his wife not around except for at his excommunication? Why is he always hanging out with an employee that he needs no employee to do videos on YouTube? But 24,188 people love what he has to say. Well, they may not love what he has to say, but they're listening. 942 like him. You can see it. He's grooming her as she's kissing his ass. Oh, John, you're so great. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, John, give us money. So it's a dangerous field. And I exposed me. I got an insider email forwarded to me that came from the director of mental health at the University of Utah talking about how in January of this year he was working, conspiring with Governor Cox to spread and escalate the coronavirus. What do you know? Mission accomplished. This is how evil they are, guys. They're not the good guys. They don't help anybody. They don't heal the mental torment you go through. It's all a sham. They utilize Stockholm Syndrome, as Kara is a perfect illustration of. She works for him. She's his slave. And she's fallen in love with her slave owner. Stockholm Syndrome. It's blatant. And I only watched 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Stay away from psychologists. They are purposely destroying humanity. They are purposely involved in the extermination of mankind. If you hadn't noticed, we've got an extermination event going on. Not just with the virus. With natural disasters and climate change. Mankind is being exterminated because of Agenda 21. That was at the UN in 1992. That was their decision for the whole world leaders to decide to do for themselves as to how many people they want exterminated from their own country. And they used a technical term to cover it all up. We'll give you that term as I finish here. Oops, no, 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 no. I got a birthday video for Nelson. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, sustainable development. Yes. The earth is not sustainable, therefore they're murdering us, so that we can reach a sustainable development level. 1992.